What's good, everyone? What is really good? So this is your neighborhood chef, Chef Prime. Um, I, and today is going to be a very insightful uh, thing that people often overlook. There's a lot of technology that is being created from software, from actual tool sets uh, that farmers across the world, but we're going to stay focused on the United States. So farmers within the United States is really using, um, you know, as food consumption increase, you know, these farmers at the national level have to also improvise and, and create these different kind of strategies to be able to grow uh, more produce, more proteins if they're, you know, a livestock farmer um to to be able to stay ahead of the current times in which we actually live there's the baby boomers are still living uh you know longer uh years and then there's a lot of babies being born and then you got everybody else in the in the middle of there so you know our our food consumption uh has definitely 10 x itself year after year and it's very hard for these um farmers, organic farmers and, and alike to, to really stay ahead of the demand. And that's why you got the new introduction from last year, the new introduction of uh, synthetic meats. Um, so yeah, but that's a whole other topic we're going to get into at a later video. But right now, uh, you know, again, this is this is going to show you all some uh, some good trending things that a lot of these farmers is really undergoing when it comes to you know uh the, the growth in livestock and the this and the that so let's get into to everybody topic. nowadays the livestock sector has started to invest more in technology this increases production efficiency and creates incredible techniques in this video we talk about the main technologies and techniques used in animal farms you will see many of these inventions used in farms for the first time. Okay, okay, all right. So before I see some weird stuff going. All right, so uh, <laughs> uh, check this out. So, you know, I, I never was brought up around a farm. Uh, I, you know, I, I've been to a farm, I think, but nothing serious like, like the stuff that y'all seeing here. And uh, there you go. These videos. Uh, this is like legit farms. I've been to the like the little drive around, pet a, pet a pig, or you know, ride around with your windows down, and uh, these uh farm creatures go into your windows and eat what's in your bowl. But this is like this is like legit stuff right here. So wow, just just the introduction of this thing just blew my mind. I don't know about y'all. I'm from New York, so. This stuff blew, definitely blew my mind back, man. Pause. Yo, did I just see a, a farmer force feed a sheep? Okay, all right, all right. As I were, as I, all right, go, let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Okay, cutting, cutting the sheep the loader is designed for ewes, rams, and very large sheep. No more heavy lifting, as this machine eliminates the need to catch and drag. Compressed air holds and rotates sheep ready for loading onto cradles for processing. This system provides great convenience in processes such as sheep care and shearing of wool. No one believed it at first, but now everyone wants one. Uh, you know, we A got customer these. returned his knife it's because he missed our game. buy to get two free deal here we go let's get past that let's get past that yo can i get this to my dog this machine is designed for easy and effective hoof care of large animals all movements are controlled by a hydraulic system. In this way, hoof care requires less physical strength and becomes more precise. Oh, wow. It also offers the opportunity to perform hoof care without stressing the- And the most important thing too, 
you know, when you're dealing with hoof care, you know, you don't know the kind of stress that these animals are under. Like you can see this, uh, this cow hooves is bleeding. Uh, there's a lot of bacterial uh, infections that goes on when you're dealing with live, like large livestock. Uh, these things step through its own feces most of the time. Water that's just been sitting on the land, they just step through it. And you know, they kind of herd these things. So uh, a lot of bacteria involvement, uh, a lot of cracks and stuff going through these hooves. And that's the point of entry for these different levels of bacteria to get in there and kind of wreak havoc on these animals. So if you don't have these mechanisms, these machineries um, to kind of like lock these animals in place, so it minimize movement, you know, you're, you're, you're looking for, you know, obviously safety when it comes to uh, farming operations. Uh, that, so that's what you're looking at here for those that don't know. The animals. Good. Yep, lock it in, shave it down, the hood. Animal can't move side to side, you good. This system is used to protect sheep from parasites. It can be easily transported on farms and used in different places. It is easy to use and does not does require like any special water? knowledge. Parasites are killed by washing sheep in a special solution. Oh, that's how they wash It prevents them. diseases caused by parasites and like ensures that sheep are yeah. healthier and more productive. Okay, let's go. Nice. Get them on their way. Okay, they got a Feed mixer is built for cutting up silos, round bales, square bales, and most types of roughage. It cuts most types of round bales and silage. The degree of cutting varies according to consistency and type of forage. It is therefore well suited to mixing complete feed, where you often want to mix feed of very different consistency and character. I can only imagine the cost of these machines. At least it's clean. The aqua trainer is a unique device used for rehabilitation and training by means of walking in water. Mm. This method of training assists greatly in the process of recovering from various types of injuries. Walking in water requires a great deal of effort on the part of the horse. The horse walks against the pressure of the water, which means that the horses will use the entire body more. Both the speed of the belt as well as the depth of the water can be varied. This way, the train. And you know what? That is very interesting. So it starts off as a little bit of water, and then I guess the trainer could increase the volume of water in that. So the horse that's suffering through this injury, uh, kind of like a physical therapist, they, they kind of like, you know, how they got the aqua fitness. Uh, so it's like the horse's version of aqua fitness, pretty much. And that's what I'm gathering when I'm looking at this uh, apparatus here. Training can be completely adjusted to the needs of the horse. This system allows milking of dairy cows simultaneously and in parallel rows. It has an ergonomic and efficient design. It is ergonomically designed. All right, pause, pause, pause. Did y'all just look at this? It seemed like every last one of these cows are trained to go into their individual sections because animals wouldn't take it upon themselves to walk down that straight line, make that little pivot, walk into every individualized segments there or dividers 
Wow. This I got to interview an actual farmer. Mental note. I got to interview a farmer. I got to get on the farm and interview a farmer because this stuff is very, I got questions. This is crazy. Designed for milkers to work comfortably. It reduces labor costs and optimizes the milking process. High quality milk is obtained thanks to hygienic conditions. Where did you walk off? For the next station. You may spray them down, wash them. Spray race is an effective solution for animal spraying. The tunnel structure allows continuous animal movement and reduces animal stress. This improves pest control and reduces labor. Without investment, right, life-changing medical breakthroughs slow down. Cities, banking markets, and services businesses deliver global financial solutions that help a client like Amgen innovate without delay. City. I figure out how to do this without these commercials. Breathe with it, y'all. Breathe with it. Boom. All right, we're back in it. Chicken cat is. All right, so these chicken cats that look like a mass herding device. And I wonder how many chickens die in this experience because it looked like they just get sucked up like a vacuum and forcefully shoved into each crate mm -mm -mm. just a guess designed to prevent chickens from being injured while being caught by hand and to reduce labor costs okay the main structure of the machine consists oh, so of a collecting head going. system uh, operated by hydraulics Okay. The collector consists of three barrel-like drums that rotate one against another. So it's the surface device. of the drums very gently lifts the chickens onto the collector and then onto the conveyor. This conveyor belt brings the chickens into <laughs> containers placed on the rotating loading platform. This machine nice. makes the work on the chicken farm much easier and does not harm the chickens. Nice. At least for that part, the KFC put that over in. Okay. The Asaf breed is known for its high milk yield and quality meat. This association brings together producers engaged in the breeding of the Asaf sheep breed in Spain. They carry out studies to improve the genetic oh. structure of the breed in advanced facilities. Oh, that's a Thanks lot Thanks to milk. the work of this association, the Asaf breed has gained an important place in the dairy cattle sector. Asaf milk and meat contribute to food safety thanks to its high nutrition. Yo, have y'all ever drank sheep milk? I never knew that was a thing. I thought that they were to collect the sheep milk to then give it to the sheep calves or you know the baby sheep uh circle of life type of thing i didn't know that they take the sheep milk and then put a label on it and put it on shell uh store shelves nutritional value and reliability I'm good. That's Milk hard yield bad. is regularly checked on farms, and the genetic potential of the breed is maximized. I don't even do cows like that. That's a far past thing. See, look, look, the baby. This system was okay. produced to make the work easier in livestock farms. This straw blower robot does not require any human intervention. It is used in various livestock farms. These include sheep, cattle, and goats. This system allows animals to live in a healthy and comfortable environment. 
Yo, why did that look like a life size animal vending machine? <laughs> that joint looked crazy. Is is this <laughs> is this what is called range free? <laughs> hey, we got them in a closed uh, area, and we only put like you know fifteen percent of animals in the per square footage. Range free, you know what I mean? So, hey, they 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 jack up the cost for stuff like this, but they supposed to be outside um free to roam and eat as they go not in a controlled environment but you know you're know, supposed to eat natural <laughs> natural stuff not stuff that came out of a a, a life-size vending machine it's crazy so I bought a $500 bottle of creative rent this oh. because it's the world's most popular fragrance This system is a special equipment designed to facilitate various sheep care processes. These cages ensure that sheep are kept safely and that various processes are carried out more efficiently. It can be used for many different processes such as vaccination, medication, feather trimming, nail care. It gives the sheep minimum stress and ensures that the animals are more comfortable during the processes. Like a pedicure for a sheep. That one is almost sweet. They ain't lying when they said stress free. Farm quip is widely used in the livestock sector, especially in Argentina and surrounding countries. It produces equipment for cattle breeding. It has fences to confine animals safely equipment for separating them into groups, treating them, or transporting them. FarmQuip offers modular systems that can be customized according to needs. Everything necessary to protect the health of animals is considered. Love their uniform. Classic. Classic. See, so there's a lot of stuff, y'all, that, you know, that happens out here. Uh, there's a reason for these uh, soaring costs. Um, so make sure you, you see here, so make sure you go to... Um, Akla Gili, y'all got to do better with your names, man. But go to this person, subscribe to their uh, channel as well. You know to learn more about you know the whole farming and and possibly other interesting things. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's it's one of those things like you just gotta you know keep that open mind. Uh, go out there and learn more, and you're gonna be surprised the the further down a rabbit hole you go. Uh, especially when it comes to the food world. Um, you know, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, cost, like lobster, um, like filet mignon, stuff like that. A lot of smoke and mirrors, y'all. You, you're going to be surprised, I promise you. But, um, yo, thank you for your time. Again, uh, go to this uh, creator's uh, profile, subscribe to that person's channel. They're definitely going to need the support. Everybody needs, you know, uh, certain levels of support to grow their channels or whatnot. Uh, and, and tune in for more, y'all. Thank you.